Alright, welcome back to solution to one way ANOVA using Excel. Uh, if you've not subscribed, click on subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. We've come a long way and these uh, few steps we've built this amazing Excel sheet. In fact, with this sheet you can always calculate any one way ANOVA problem uh, by making just a little modification. Now we will calculate the 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 f statistic the main value that is needed so f is equal to m is between over m is within right <laughs> there are a whole lot of formulas in this uh, calculation m is between over m is within so equal to this over this oh finally we have the f statistic that we have been trying to calculate for the past few videos so I'm going to make it bold I'm going to make it bold and I'm going to make it another color so that it shows that we won a trophy so this is the F statistic so what do we do with this let's look at the remaining steps so this is where we are we look up the F table okay and then we we state our conclusion now we have two degrees of freedom we have degree of freedom for 12 and also degree of freedom uh, for 2 df1 is 12 and df2 uh, is 2 so we have to go to the table and check for f statistics for 0 0.05 significance or alpha is equal to 0 0.05 for this two degree of freedom so we can get the uh, the statistical table from from here. So yeah, this is statistical table. If you actually want to download a copy, you can click here to download. For me, I like uh, using it right inside this uh, place because this is where I'm working. So in this Excel, in this uh, statistical table, we need to locate. Oh, uh, it's taking some time to load. We need to locate uh, one way ANOVA. This is chi squared, it's not chi squared. This is binomial, it's not binomial. Um, let's wait for a couple of seconds. My internet connection is uh, a little bit sluggish this time. I, I don't really know. I think I'm going to do something about it. I hope that. Aha, good. So this is T distribution, it's not T distribution. It's not, um, there's still T distribution, this is F distribution, no. We'll, we look for one way ANOVA, I uh, think it should be close to the last part of this table, so. Yeah, okay, no, this man Whitney. Cruz Cruz Cavallis. Oh, what is happening? Okay, I think. Okay, okay. Let's let's just come on. Come on, Garov's main of test is a different test. I've also done it before. Something is not right. Okay, let me just use Control F one. Anova. Wow, this is strange. Okay, let's let me see. I think okay, let's see. Smain off no smain off, let's go down. Two sample, okay, good. Uh no. Alright, so um this is very strange, very very strange because I think I've used this table before. Alright, so because I need to show you how to read the value from the table. That is why I I want I actually want you to see have distribution now.
numerator df no so okay so I think degree of freedom of two no it's not it's not here let's see we have a degree of freedom of what of two and and, and twelve so uh, degree of freedom of of uh hold on let's see degree of freedom of twelve and and two okay so okay yeah I, I get it now so in this case you are going to use uh, F distribution that is what you are going to use remember what we calculated was F so yeah so we are going to use F distribution that is what we are going to use so if we look at for 2 degree of freedom here and 12 degree of freedom so have 12 okay and then we have 2 we have 12 2 it, it comes to 1.36 uh -huh. so 12 2 gives us 1.36 um i think it's uh, clear enough let's let's see the results in the page one three three point eight nine wow okay so let's see for alpha is equal to like the degree of freedom to be 12 and 2 so we have 12 and we have 2 they end up to be three point. Is this the right one? Okay, so okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I know where the problem is coming from. Okay, so okay, let let me use um let me use let me use the statistical table I have in my system maybe we can have something so so I have statistical tables here let's see I hope it's not the same thing with this one ah it's the same so alright I'm going to set all this and then we come back. So we have this so uh, strange. Okay, so let's just complete this. Assuming we we calculated F to be 9.75, what we do is we check for it in the table. When I checked, I had 3.98. It means that the calculated value is greater than the tabulated value get it right the calculated value of f is greater than the tabulated value therefore we reject the null hypothesis we reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the two means are significantly at least two of the means are significantly different from each other now after we sort out why we had problem with statistical table but this is the procedure if you've come this far, uh, kudos, you've done really well. So a little quiz, try to create this table and then fill in all the details needed. So this is what we've been calculated, all calculating in the cell sheet all along the line. So do fill this and let me know in the comment if you have any challenges. I remain kind on the genius. Please subscribe to my channel. Click on the subscribe button below to subscribe and then uh, also check back for new videos and updates.
to the left of this page you see a, a form you can uh, make a comment you can also ask a question or say anything you would like to get some clarification on i'd like to thank you for viewing